Hey guys, welcome to my video. I'm Chatters Games, and I'm gonna show you a tutorial how to do like the hide and seek survival where there's like one killer and like for example seven survivors. But in this one, there's an area where you have to be in. If you leave that area, you're basically out of the game, which is the map on the left side of my hand. Now in this game mode, there's gonna be one killer and seven survivors, or how many survivors you want to be in as survivor. But this is gonna be played out as like. Uh, a normal survival as you would normally play a survival when you play on Minecraft but they'll but the twist is there'll be one killer. Also a cool update they did on Minecraft is when you load into a creative and you create an empty map it actually shrinks the view into one like part of the map and as you can see is the map is like quite small but this is a perfect play area to play this hide and seek game mode. Obviously, if you come out of that area, it would show a like white dot saying that you're not in that part of the map anymore. That basically means you're out of the area if you're playing the game mode, which therefore you have to force yourself to come back in. Now, all you're gonna need is the maps, any block, and an item frame. And we're gonna want to do is gonna want to place the stone or whatever block it is, item frame, and then put your map in there. Once you've done that, you've got to make sure tile drops is on, you break it, and then you get another duplicate of that map. We're going to do it so the killer also has an iron sword. That's how I would normally play it. If you guys want to do it where everyone starts empty-handed, then that is cool, but I'm going to do it so in this one, the killer is going to have an iron sword. Now, this is technically going to be played out as normal survival, for the survivors, but the killer, his main goal is to kill every survivor. If he kills a survivor, that survivor would be then onto the team of where the killer is on. So then it's almost like family tag. The killer would have to take everyone, everyone from that survival side onto the killer side until everyone is on the killer side. Game over, basically. Now, if you want to randomize it, you would need to have a dispenser, a spruce button, or uh, yeah, a button. Okay, just yeah, uh, lime die or red die. So the lime die is the innocent slash survivors, and the red die would be the killer. And because there is five of us, I put five in total in there. Then want to press the button. The first person to choose it obviously got the lime die, and but it's stacked so it didn't really show. The second person chooses, they also got a lime die. Third person chooses lime die until one killer, one person gets the red, which basically would be the end player because it's all gone now. If you get the red die before the end player can take their go, they are forced to be the survivor. Now I've done this in like a forest, which is perfect for like this game mode because it kind of makes it spooky. I've also done it so the sun is on its like sunset setting whilst the moon is almost rising. I think this is like a perfect light for this type of game mode as well. If you want to do it like that you're gonna basically want to do it so daylight cycle is active. Once it's got to the sunset uh, setting you're gonna want to then take it off to stop it and you're basically done from there. You're gonna wanna make sure his privileges is on as well so you can do all that. To make it fair, you'll probably wanna tell the killer to like look at a tree or somewhat, uh, just so the survivors have like a minute or something, just so they can like set up their buildings and whatever they need to hide from the killer. Anyway guys, I hope I explained everything. Let me know in the comments if you think there's any better ideas you could tell me. Uh, anyway, that's the end of the video. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.